Hello again, I'm here at the You Are Not Alone event with my friend Andrea and yeah we just had a couple laughs. The, they did some announcement about 20 minutes ago and it sounded like the, the woman had the mic in her mouth which was kind of funny. Um, and yeah it's almost 12.30 and the sun is just peeking behind the mountains so I think that might be it for the sun today. But uh, yeah, so this one I'm talking about Christmas mood vampires. And even though Christmas is a very happy and joyful time for a lot of people, it can be a pretty challenging time. And this is from a blog post written by someone that I follow in Australia. And his name's Graham Cowan. And I'll post the link in the video below. He has some amazing content around mental illness, mental health awareness, and reducing stigma. And he has a platform called Are You OK? I'll be sharing a little bit about that in a later video. Um, so Christmas mood vampires. Uh, number one, we are forced to be with people we don't like. So that could be at work events, that could be with your significant other, at parties that you don't really want to go to. Unfortunately, it could be with some family. There is some family out there that are challenging to be with. So number one is we are forced to be with people we don't like. Number two, the holidays can remind us of loss. Uh, in my case, that's very true. Uh, one of the reasons why Christmas is at times challenging for me is it reminds me that my mom and my dad are no longer here. They passed away. And, you know, that is a constant reminder. When I'm at events where there's, you know, mom and dad and the kids, I it takes me back. and. I miss my parents, so. Uh, number three, Christmas mood vampires, is we neglect our well-being. A lot of people have put pressure on themselves to go to all these different events, to, to not say, to say yes to everybody, and they forget to look after themselves, and for some people it gets to be a really stressful time. So number three is neglecting our well-being. Number four is we are confronted by what we don't have. So that could be going to someone's home that has this incredible home that you don't have. It could be um, meeting up with people who have an incredible partner that you don't have. I know for me, I'm single, so, so that could be many things. Uh, and then the last one, the last Christmas mood vampire is we can spend too much. So that definitely happens with some people out there, and I've been guilty of that too, you know, keeping up with the Joneses, and then you get the credit card bill in January. <laughs> uh, I can relate to that. So those are the Christmas mood vampires that Graham Cowan went over, and it really resonated with me. That's why I'm sharing it in this video. And I'll post the link below, and uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if those resonate with you, and thanks for watching.